Now this time uh, I'll be talking about the tax treaty analysis. So the tax treaty will affect the business expansions through FF2G's uh, profit and loss generated from the business. Most of the employees who will be working abroad will be living in the Philippines. Their withholding taxes and other related deductions will be based on their residency in the Philippines. It makes it easier for the parent company in Canada, that's for sure. Like Canada, Philippines only require its tax filer as a resident, and not based on citizenship like the U.S. Philippines requires its resident foreign corporation to pay general tax rate of 30% based on net income and 12% value added tax fat, which I just mentioned, uh, you know, in the from the, from the previous slide. Now, Philippine charges non-resident foreign corporations with its nine gauge in trade bit in business or trade uh, general tax rate of 25 percent uh, whether in whereas in Canada a recent corporation is subject to a federal tax of 38 percent and a province territorial tax rate of 12 percent in British Columbia other provinces uh, yeah they, they, they you know other provinces they vary as for employees or self-employed earnings, the tax rates are ranging from 5% to 35% in the Philippines. Depending on their tax brackets, uh, income exemptions, allowable deductions, and credits. Oh, furthermore, um, because of the Philippines and Canada tax treaty, uh, profits, income, and gains generated in Canada will be deducted from the Philippines taxes payable. This section should not exceed the Philippines tax, which is payable for the profits, income, and gains generated in the Philippines. So any excess might be taxable in Canada and avoided double taxation.